Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'll be drawing two Draw This In Your Own Style challenges by Elizmill Art and Lakes Art. I really, really, really love Elizmill Art's stuff, and I think she does wonderful, wonderful pieces. So I was so happy that she hosted her, uh, this Draw This In Your Own Style challenge. So this is the first one that I started to work on. And, oh, I just loved how I drew it. I really liked how I kind of gave her, like, I guess a really youthful face. And I really liked doing the hair and the ears. That's probably one of my favorite things about her art is the way she draws ears and the way she draws facial features and the lips just everything about it is just amazing so if you get a chance check out her stuff because like i said it's amazing she actually really inspires my style uh, to some degree uh i don't entirely copy anyone's style but there are inspirations and she is an inspiration to some of my style. I really go for that anime look, but I also want kind of a, uh, I don't know, just kind of going in between an anime style look and with my own touch, I guess. That's why I kind of call it my anime style because I guess anime kind of has its own style, but I take elements from that. And I don't know, I ha I saw this question posed recently. It was like, how do I come up with my own style? Like, how do I know what is my style? And the way I think about it is, is just take what you like from other artists and implement what you like. Take what you like and implement what you like because I would look at multiple artists, not just one, because you can always copy an artist, and I don't think that's really your style. I mean, that's the original artist style, but take the elements that you like from that artist, and then look at other artists, and take elements that you like from them, and this or that, and then eventually you'll come up with your own style. And I think that's kind of what I am forming. With this piece, you can really see kind of what I'm going for as far as my style I really want I really like that youthful face I'm trying to dumb down a little bit with the eyes because the eyes I tend to draw really really big but in this one I decided to draw them I guess a little bit more proportion I mean they're still big I'm not even gonna lie but I don't know big eyes have always been my thing and sometimes I think I make them a little too big and so I'm trying to like scale them a little bit down try to keep still that anime look but it also kind of has I don't know like this Disney kind of look almost um my boyfriend always tells me that my art style looks very I guess childlike like it's something children would watch from like shows and it's not entirely anime and I guess that's true but I also think that I try to still keep true to the anime flair. So if you're really struggling with your style, then honestly, these draw this in your own style challenges might really help you because you can really just develop that style. So this is Lake Arts uh, from her draw this in your own style she's a really sweet artist and i follow her because she's an awesome person I, awesome artist and basically i this is her first draw this in your own style challenge and in her picture i loved how she drew the, the the cute little girl with the bows in her hair so with this one i uh decided to kind of actually do something a little bit different i decided to sketch the art first and then color over it and color over it uh instead of actually doing the line art i just kind of did the line art as a part of the sketch and i really love how it turned out i just kept drawing over it, making you know forming it forming it forming it forming it erasing some parts of the sketch but I kept for most part the sketch itself and I just I really loved how this piece turned out it's actually one of my favorite pieces honestly and I might go in the future with this some of the more detailed art I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this 
at first, but it is actually something that I think I'm going to continue to actually work on because I do like how this style looks to me. And instead of just doing the line art, just make it more like a painting, which a lot of artists do it this way. I just haven't really been able to do more of the comic book anime look, but man, I'm really happy with this. I really liked how I did like kind of made her look really bored. I mean, she looks like she's like, uh, I'm bored. But in the original picture, it kind of looks like that to me. So that's why I, I drew it this way. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, thank you for all of your support, especially all of you guys on Instagram. I appreciate all y'all support. This has been so a huge journey for me especially with art like I've learned so much in the last I don't know I guess year that I've really been kicking it off with digital art so there's so many things that I am learning and I'm gonna change about my style like we're talking about with style and I think that this this particular picture might be a huge pivotal moment in my style because I would love to just be able to take these concepts and use it forward but with this one it just kind of really made it easier anyways so here you're about to see the full sketch of how i just sketched it up so this is the time lapse of this particular piece and the reason i added this is because i since i colored over the sketch this one in particular is a little bit different so i added the the time lapse but Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And again, thanks for all of your support and your comments and, and your likes and everything. And I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.